Good evening and welcome to TL Physics. My name is Sarah and today I'm going to give an example of um, resolving forces or resolving vector diagrams. So I'm actually going to be doing it mathematically, but I'll also be doing it scalar in this video also. So I have a box here with forces acting uh, 20 newtons, acting 30 degrees. I've got one at 30, one at 50 going down, and one at 60 going this way. And I've already drawn in the labels for my components. So I know this is acting at an angle, but I like to know how much in the x direction it's working and how much in the y direction it is working. And I'm going to label these forces. One, two, three, and four. I'm going to label in other angles that might be of use to me. So that there is 60 degrees. So force number one, and remember, right is positive and up is positive. Force number one is going 50 down in the y-axis. So There's nothing in the x, but it's going 50 down in the y, so it's going to be minus 50. Number two is going negatively in the x direction because it's going this way. So it's going to be minus 60, but it's not working in the y. Number three is working nothing in the x-axis, but positive 30 in the y-axis. Now, this one, I need to find the components. So, cos 30 equals 20 over fx. So, oh, tw so, oh, do apologize. fx over 20. So 20 cos 30 equals fx. So 20 cos 30 is 17.3. So it's working 17.3 in this direction, the positive x. Cos 60 equals fy over 20. So 20 cos 60 equals fy. And that equals 10. I'm now going to add these together. So minus 60 plus 70.3 is minus 42.7 and this one is minus 50 plus 30 plus 10 which is minus 10. So what this means is that my overall resultant in the x is working 42.7 that way and also working minus 10 down. To find the resultant, you use Pythagoras. So this here is the resultant. So that is 42.7 squared plus 10 squared, all square rooted. So 42.7 squared plus 10 squared, square root that, oops, is 43.9 newtons. The angle it is working at is tan to the minus one of the opposite, which is 10 over 42.7, which is 20 over 42.7, and then tan to the minus one of that, 13.2 degrees. So this here is find, using the forces and finding the components in each of the directions. Finding the total component resulting in x, find the total resultant in y, and then you can draw a little diagram and you can use Pythagoras to find the resultant. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to now draw with a scale diagram. We're going to do this here. So I'm going to say that five centimeters is 10 newtons. So 15 centimeters, uh, we're going to do 60 this way. 
So 60 uh, is that, so it's going to be 30 centimetres this way. So that's my 60 newtons. I'm then going to do 15 centimetres up. Whoops. That's 25, so here. Might do. Now I'm going to do the 50 one first. So I'm going to go 50 down. I'm running out of a bit of space. So 5 centimetres is 10 newtons. So 25 down. So. Ooh, running out of room. So 30, 10, 25 down. I'm then going to do my 20 newtons, 30 degrees this way. So I've marked out my 30. I'm going to do 10 centimetres this way. So that's my 50 newtons, this is my 20 newtons, and that's 30 degrees. And then I'm going to do my 30 newtons up, which is be 15 centimetres. Here. So I've got a vector diagram that's doing that. From here to here is my resultant and I'm going to measure that now that is 23 centimeters so if I know that 5 centimeters is 10 newtons let's do 23 divided by 5 and then times up by 10 so 23 divided by 5 times by 10 gives me 46 newtons. So that there, with my measurement, is 46 newtons. I can get my protractor and I can measure this here. And I'm measuring it at about 17 degrees. Comparing again these two results, not too dissimilar. This one is highly inaccurate because it depends on my measurements. This one is just using the straight mathematics. It is a much more accurate way of finding the resultant vector.